Future is a new-ish checking account with a cashback debit card. It's similar to the Aspiration debit card and the Tree card in one major respect. Its goal is to provide banking in a sustainable way while encouraging environmentally friendly living and provide rewards at the same time. This type of account comes with many pros and cons, so let's get into it. And looks like I don't have time to switch backgrounds while I'm filming today. Okay, depending on which side of the aisle you land on, this feature may be good or bad. And that is that Future does not have a physical debit card, at least not yet. This is the first account I've reviewed where they don't have a physical debit card. But if you're truly into sustainable living, maybe only having a digital debit card is your preference. No waste after your card expires in a few years. Less to carry in your wallet. And with more and more vendors using contactless payment methods like Apple Pay and Google Wallet, I think that's what they call the Google version. I don't know team iPhone here. Anyways, with more and more contactless payment methods, maybe a virtual card will work fine for you. I'm just gonna be honest though, no physical card makes it much less practical for me. Sure, I may add it to my Apple wallet, but I'm never gonna use it as a primary account because I personally have to have a physical card with me for that to happen. I'm too afraid I'll need it and not have it. But hey, to each their own. Okay, new scene. Yes, I'm filming in my pajamas. The future account, as I've mentioned, encourages sustainable living, mostly by providing 6% cash back from its partner merchants. Those are like the super hip environmentally friendly friendly one. Plus you get 5% on EV charging. If you have an EV, I have an electric scooter. Does that count as an electric vehicle? And 5% on public transportation, since that's a more fuel efficient way of getting around. In addition, you'll get 1% cash back on all other purchases, which is very good. Now I've said this in a couple other reviews, and that is the 1% cash back is great, but the rest of the cash back is pretty much useless to me because we don't have an electric car. Public transportation is not available for any of the places that I frequent, and companies where higher cash back is provided are similar simply not places where we tend to shop. Regardless though, 1% goes a long way if you're using it for all your expenses. There's not even a limit to the cash back. Now your cash back is in the form of climate points, which can be redeemed directly in the app. Every 1,000 points is $10 and can be redeemed for $10 credit in the app. You can also redeem your points for other items like Apple Watch, iPhone, and MacBook, and other things like electric scooters, food storage containers, and HelloFresh gift cards. And many of the electronics that you can use points to purchase are actually refurbished. Don't get me wrong, you can get new. But the refurbished items keep with their sustainable living model of reusing and recycling. And speaking of sustainable, there's no significant carbon footprint associated with hitting those like and subscribe buttons down below. So if you like these kinds of reviews, do that because it really helps my channel. New scene. When it comes to deposits and withdrawals, Future probably has the fewest options that I've seen. You've got direct deposit and bank transfer in and out. They do also allow you to transfer money from Venmo and Cash App into your Future account. Otherwise, there's not that much more to note. I would guess that if and when they add physical debit cards to their accounts, then you'll be able to also take money out from like all point ATMs for free. Just a guess. Now, admittedly, this account is not feature rich at all. Like when you rate everything that I've reviewed in terms of practicality of payment, you've got all the debit cards that I've reviewed up here. Then we've got like chocolate milk as a tradable commodity. Then you have future, then you have cash. You'd probably swap those, but even today, a lot of times just using a card is easier than using cash. All that to say at the moment, future is going to fulfill the banking needs of a very niche consumer or non-consumer if you're trying to be sustainable, but I digress. Personally, I actually think it's a great checking account. Like I said, that 1% goes a long way. But until they add more options for moving money in and out, adding ATMs, adding physical debit cards, some other basic-ish features, probably not going to appeal to the normal everyday person. So let me know what you think of this account and if you'd ever use it. And I'll see you in this video. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button if you like pajamas.